And we are live here at the Thruway Salt Barn in Cheektowaga, where moments ago one of the emergency crews asked us to pack it up and leave. They tell, they're telling us it is just unsafe to be here, so we will be leaving here momentarily. Um, they say it's due to the cold, the blowing and drifting snow. Uh, Madison, as you mentioned, Governor Cuomo stood alongside other county officials, state police, and even members of the National Guard. Um, several hours ago with a few important updates. First of all, extra plows from downstate are headed this way. Now, he couldn't quantify how many, but he says extra crews will be coming. They're going to tackle key hospital routes and other necessary areas. Next, there are a number of state routes with tractor-trailer bans, and my colleague Sean Robson will have more on that in a moment. But I-81 from Canada to the Thruway is also now banned for tractor-trailers. Also, crews will keep a close eye on power outages. Cuomo offering a stern warning to utility companies like National Grid and NYSEG. I want the utilities to hear me today. We expect a better level of service than we have been getting from the utility companies in terms of both communication of the problem and resolution of the problem. Cuomo says officials want to know the moment there's an outage, they can deploy generators and other tools if need be. Now, I did ask Cuomo how long he does plan to be in Buffalo. He says it is a fluid situation and he intends to go where the storm is strongest. A major issue, of course, in all of this is that tractor trailer ban on most state routes. I'm joined by my colleague, Sean Robson. Sean, you have more on that. Yeah, Allie, it, these conditions have just